Well, hello people, and welcome back to part 24 of the build guide too. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Hey, so I'm sort of support on the last episode, a ton of fun putting bad peanut stations in. And I uh, really enjoyed this view down toward uh, the sort of mid-density. A skyline that's developed over the last few episodes, of course. A whole bunch of fun. And of course, um, the episode where we did the farm and the fishing harbour, everyone was quickly pointing out that of course we should have some sort of uh, fish and chip shop <laughs> right here, right? We've got the potatoes going right next to the fish, so 100%. We're going to have David's fish and chips. If we're leaving a comment about that, and we'll have that on the other side of the river uh, as we develop a commercial strip here. And it is along the other side of the river I want to turn my attention to today. Uh, we still have about 4,000, we have three and a half uh, population to get before we get that next downtown tile. And I'd like to just start introducing a little bit of suburbia around here, but focus it all around one of King Leno's new wonderful malls that we'll piece together, which will hopefully be quite nice. So, let's have a look at sort of expanding our lower density. Indeed, this should create that nice sprawl of low density now before the medium density rise, giving us that kind of grand and complete view. And I also think that we'll have a road coming up this way as well, through the mountain and maybe out this side, and then coming through this valley and over into this bay, which will give us one day a really cool drive as if we come down the mountain road and then Orchid Bay's sort of medium density and then of course eventually one day the high density will also be sat here as well giving us like an incredible view hopefully this will be a great one to look forward to one day but either way let's get started uh, with some uh, road network stuff here we'll time lapse up some connections I'm going to bring it down from this one across the ridge and then we'll get a roundabout set up and start working with our suburbia So it's going to be interesting to see just how much this little national road network that we've set up now. And of course we can bring many more builds off of this road to fill these spaces now, which is great, gives us access to much more land to play with. Uh, yeah, it's siphoning a fair bit of uh, industrial traffic um, off of the main road network, which is of course always nice, right? So happy to see that happening. Also access to this cargo hub down here as well. Cargo train activity coming through here now as well. Fantastic. So we'll of course detail this road up, but now uh, it does give us road access into... Uh, what I want to be a new suburb, and I think we're going to start bringing down uh, some arterial road frames first of all, right? Start getting ourselves established in a new area. And we're going to just do general outer line suburbia here today, maybe a continuation of European suburbia. I guess we could try something new, maybe something a little bit fancier. Cool, so eventually I'm envisioning that road to flow around the suburb for a little bit. Let's get some nice happy curves on the go here. But eventually I kind of want this to become national road as well and then flow into this mountain valley to eventually become sort of a country road, take me home sort of vibes. So again, we'll prepare for that eventuality to happen as well. But now we can position sort of the meat and potatoes of today's building episode, which is going to be the mall. And I think again, it's positioning within the landmass should probably be about here, I think. Would be quite nice. Maybe a little green riverside park that we can look across toward the mall space might be quite fun. So with that in mind, the first thing I want to do is just sort of roughly position where I want things to go. So about there would probably be ideal. Let's go for that one. Let's have this as our centerpiece for the build. So we are going to use pedestrian roads here today as well, of course. Uh, but what I want to happen first is to get the uh, two unique malls placed from these shopping malls. Again, if you don't have these, links down to Instant Gaming down below. Always help support the channel. Yeah, so let's see what we're playing with first of all, right? These are really nice. We had a look at these and like everything new in video. And definitely want to try and piece them together in some fashion so we can 
just enjoy that aesthetic. I think it'd be quite nice, right? We've also got some cargo containers at the back as well, so maybe we can put our service points around the back of them as well and create kind of like an enclosed sort of cargo area of the mall, maybe. Might be quite nice. So let's run with that idea, right? Let's go ahead and slide you over. And then we'll start bringing up some action where we can piece these together. So let's add a pedestrian road in at this point. Uh, if you want for like a fancy outdoor mall vibe, let's go for sandstone, right? Maybe slightly fancy sort of pedestrian street here. This will also eventually become pedestrian street as well, but we will worry about that in a second. Okay, so that's how I'm thinking we'll piece them together. Hopefully we can see the pun now, right? As we get that kind of cohesive mall. And then we've got a view down to the waterfront and some towers as well. Yeah, so I think I'm happy with this general concept here. I think what I do want to do, though, is just shift it around so kind of the main mall spaces here are facing the water. I think that's going to be best. So we'll flip it around, what's that, 180 degrees, and just get it orientated. And then we can have a look at the rest of it as well. And I think as this build and idea grows out as well, that I do just want to prepare this riverside uh, park pathway beforehand too. And we can probably get some nice elevated uh, bridges back into here as well, back over to Swark. And that we've been working on the last few episodes. Uh, we do also have trains over here as well. We could actually steal a train line and bring a train line into the town. So we have them facing the waterfront now. And I think I'm happy with this. I think that we do need to perhaps move them along a little bit. And we're also going to name our mall today as well. Uh, after one of our wonderful Patreon subscribers, uh, we're going to go for... Uh, well, Luna Orla is the Patreon subscriber, but I kind of thought that Luna Mola would be a good shout for the mall name. Right, so let me know what you think of that. And we're also going to go for shopping malls as well as a specialization. Uh, so we can get some zones up, right? Very exciting. Uh, so that's going to be a view as well, because now I actually want this to become a sort of fancy road. I'm going to go for a wider one, and then this is going to merge into a wider pedestrian road in the form of this one. Bring this up through there like that, and then we'll change back to this small one. We're definitely going to have lots of trees around here. We want this to be quite a spicy sort of build. Lots of you know, trees, etc. We have to be very nice here, I think. Cool. So now I want to start creating sort of like the case or the shell of the mall, if you like. So I want that one to be about there. And we can fill something here. Um, I think actually I was looking at the other shopping mall asset, which is 500 weekly tourists in a pedestrian area. Which we haven't hit yet. We will hopefully get there one day. Um, but in the meantime, we can maybe add this in later. But now I'd like to see if we can actually factor in the commercial zone landmark. Because um, it kind of works sort of perfectly around here. Um, and I think we can possibly get away with tagging it on there. And then what we can do is come in with some classic uh, poor man's surface paint in the form of a path. And hopefully this will just give us a little bit of sort of texture between all those buildings and help us create... A very detailed walkable alley in vanilla and um, just by factoring orientation leaving a, a space for a path and um, very happy with that right who, who would have thought this was vanilla right <laughs> how, how far has this game come obviously we got a lot of content creator packs but still it's uh without access to the workshop is just it's great now and uh, we can't really see anything because it's absolutely pissing down go ahead and turn the rain off Okay, but now we can see that sort of important, impressive waterfront developing. Um, I wouldn't t be totally against the idea of another sort of main building here um, before we do actually get into some of that zoning, but I do want to get some of the zoning down anyway, just so we can start to see it come in. Uh, we'll have a lot of car parking here, I imagine. Let's get a bit along this way. And we'll just see what develops. First time we're using this shopping mall stuff, so we'll see how it behaves. Uh, we definitely do want a pedestrian area, though, which is something that I'd like to have a look at. And I think rather than having this at the sort of customer facing entrance to the mall, if you like, I want this to be sort of a separate back entrance. I think we can help reinforce that vibe with a little bit of uh, industrial road here as well. So let's place down two service points again. We'll probably need it for the size that this area will be. Uh, so let's go to our park areas. We'll grab some pedestrian area. Uh, we do have the large pedestrian area service point now. I'm not sure if this is still bugged. It was when it came out. I think we'll we'll risk it anyway. We'll, we'll, we'll go for it. Yeah, so that's what I wanted, right? I wanted to combine the service point with the back of the mall against all this cargo detailing. And I think we can do a better job by flipping it around, can we? One more tile. <laughs> Just need it. Need it there. There we go. There we go. That's what I want. 
Yeah, so just to kind of make use of that back end of the mall there with a service point on it, in vanilla is going to be quite effective, I think, isn't it? And you could even, if you wanted to, I suppose, to kind of hide in some garbage process in here is chuck in a recycling center. Just enough room. Just enough. <laughs> uh, I guess you could actually throw that around on the other way, couldn't you? It probably still fit there. And you could get away with more industrial props that looks like it is, you know, just handling all the crap and garbage and waste that comes out of a huge commercial mall like this. So, quite tasty. Very happy with that one, I've got to say. Really like the idea of a kind of service point like that on the back of a commercial area. Uh, very, very nice. So then we know where that's going to go, and then we can bring that up, and then maybe just have that come and hug at the edge of the mall as well. Maybe have a little back entrance onto the side of the mall here as well. Cool, so let's get that pedestrian area painted out. And we'll also name this at the mall as well. So basically, yeah, it's all along here. And then we'll paint this stuff up, probably a little bit over here as well. And then I do want that kind of classic sort of mall aesthetic of it's kind of this commercial shell that's then surrounded by sort of a ton of car parking, right? That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we also need to siphon power off of somewhere. I want to start seeing people sort of move around here if we can. Should be all the issues fixed. Tremendous. Cool. So let's have a look at a tree. Uh, we want something certainly fancy. I kind of think California Palm is screaming for the waterfront mall right over here in our little suburban area. And then why don't we downgrade that pedestrian road into something a little simpler. Let's say this one here. And then let's see if we can do something nice with the pathways uh, as we randomly place the palm. Let's lock into the grid and then just come down either side. Cool, and then maybe over here we can do something with um, a bench. Let's go into our park stuff and then use this wonderful new search feature. Search for a bench. Let's go ahead and get a couple of these. Maybe we can just create a little sort of viewing area here at the end with a pergola from uh, plazas and promenades. Let's search for one of those. So spin this around at the end of the sort of pier here. Uh, I want to use the lower pedestrian mode there. Maybe the one with grass on the side. Cool. And then I just have like lots of natural green space here against the riverfront. And that should just allow us to create this sort of sense of importance across the river now. I'm happy with that. We can see there's actually commercial assets growing side of our district. You guys should not be doing that. Will you? Cool. So here's some of Leno's shopping mall assets. These are really nice. Super happy with these. Very good. Cool, but really enjoying seeing people walk around all this mall space here. <laughs> That's so cool. That is very cool, isn't it? I uh, wonder what other unique buildings we might be able to create a sort of focal point here around uh, the plaza space. I think this also wants to be flush against the corner, doesn't it? And then, actually, because we've actually saved that tile, we can probably bring in this path pattern now to loop around and then create a little sort of fun area here for some tree patterns. Maybe not live oak, because that's a bit dominant, isn't it? That's one of the new trees. A little California shorty. First one's in Orkham Bay. Cool. So I can definitely get on board with that as well. Um, I should really see if we can... Oh, wait, did you just walk through there anyway? I guess I'm really interested to see if the AI will walk that. Yes, they will is the answer. <laughs> yes, they will. There we go. There's the whole of them. No, you idiot. You're all using the industrial entrance. <laughs> Come and use the customer entrance. That's not where you're supposed to go. It's, maybe is there a policy where we can ban um, pedestrian vehicles here? Yes, they, oh, there you go. Now, now they're coming down, right? Cool. Look at this now, right? Our little riverfront mall now starting to grow. <laughs> How exciting! How incredibly exciting, everyone. Yeah, so I think I could, I think I could stomach another unique building here um, to complement the commercial landmark. So let's see what possibilities uh, will lie there. So, I don't think we're going to have another unique building on the mall strip. I think what we will do here is just give it a real simple, plain and easy plazas and promenades fountain plaza. And then just have that as like an enjoyable space within the mall. And then I also would like to have some commercial facing into this as well. So of course, to achieve that, we'll wrap things up there. And this road can now be deleted. 
and we'll make sure that we can possibly have some maps all back to back zone in there as well if we wanted to i guess we'll see what comes with mass zone in some shopping malls shall we let's get rid of this and then just let the strongest assets win i guess we'll see what happens there again there's all this new zonings we don't know if we can mass zone shopping malls yet is it good is it terrible have to wait and see won't we uh, thank you for your wonderful updates i would like the uh, sandstone variation please there we go absolutely fantastic cool so this is coming on so what i would like to have a look at now is actually using another unit building uh, as the entrance into the area and i think what we're going to do is actually use the mall of moderation for that so it's going to take a little bit of testing but we'll have a little look as to what's going on in my head with this let's push this back and um, i might want to move that up a little i guess we'll we'll see what happens with it uh but i just want to find this place where we can drop this in there we go so that's perfect so let's delete that off now and then we'll move our arterial down here it's easy to move it off the roundabout also helps us be a little bit less straight with our roads as well yeah and then i want it to kind of sit here unfortunately it doesn't centralize but we can possibly do some uh, tricks with the grids to get it to centralize if we want to but to kind of have this as the entrance of the mall, that's almost as if you're walking through it to come out the back and then into this mall space is the thought process behind it. <laughs> this is what we're this is what we're going to try and replicate here. So we'll see how it turns out, of course. Uh, so we want this to become the wider sandstone road now. And we'll also go ahead and throw on the California palm while we're here. Tremendous. Uh, so we're going to need, let's say about, what, two more tiles distance there. We've got that central road in now, so we can use that as a guideline. Uh, and then let's grab ourselves these roads here. And now we can bring these out as a barrier. It's also going to give us a nice little uh, border there as well, isn't it? Which is nice. Okay, so that would appear to work. So we've just drawn in another road and um, that is uh, basically against the grid structure. So how I've done that is if you snap into the grid, you see that your blue circle kind of fills a perfect square of four, doesn't it? So if you come out of the grid and then move into the middle of the line and then draw it, you're going to throw off your sort of main grid orientation by that amount. And then doing that, I can then place the model moderation centralized to my arterial, which is the sight line that I want here. So we'll see what we can do. So we will need to give it a connection, which is fine. We've got the asset placed now, so we can just draw in these connections here. Uh, I do not want industrial road though. So let's go ahead and change that. And then we will get two lane medium with grass and now let's feed these off as well because at this point i want the pedestrian road to come down and this can function as an entrance into said mall space and then likewise as well with this other side on the median i want this to continue to hold car parking while the pedestrian road wraps up and comes in like that and then hopefully with a little bit of path work as well out the back here at the appropriate position anyway we can create the effect that People might be walking out the back of the mall of moderation there uh, and then coming into the mall like it is sort of the entrance, right? I hope that's sort of not too crap. <laughs> It'll hopefully fit in a little bit better once it's detailed, but it certainly gives us the sort of aesthetic that I'm after, right? Kind of looks like a case of a mall now, doesn't it? Just need it to wrap around the entire edge. <laughs> that's what you want to custom assets, but I'm happy with it. And now we're getting some of our cafes and malls. Oh, look at that. So nice. They are a little, maybe a little bit too unbranded. And I see some signs. It's kind of going from one extreme to the other, but much more realistic commercial, aren't they? Yes, please. <laughs> this is a really cute space now, isn't it? A really nice space. Coming on quite a lot. Cool. So let's throw in uh, some car parts along the front and then we'll sort of have a look how we feel about the build and... Let some of this commercial grow in, let some people arrive, and we'll, we'll see what happens. So it really changes the vibe <laughs> once it has some car park in it, doesn't it? I love that on the corner, let's make that historical. Yeah, just surrounding that commercial shell with car parking. Huge instant mall vibes, right? So we have just put our parking around the front of the mall here. Also rework the entrance a little bit. Because uh, I just saw how close that node was, and I thought that's definitely going to back up at some point. So extended out a little bit of a roundabout, curve the arterial back into the roundabout, which is actually super busy. Uh, we might have an issue here eventually. You know what this is? This is a lack of public transport. <laughs> this is why we're getting this. 
Okay. With that in mind then, let's see if we can bring um, a hub into or near the mall, shall we? Uh, so we're going to be... Again, the suburb isn't going to expand too far out of this, so I don't want like a serious public transport network, but certainly something to take the pressure off the road would be appreciated. I'm keen to use the bus train tram hub. This is a super nice one. But I just don't have elevated train in the area. I mean, there is no reason why we couldn't bring through an embanked train line and actually have it split off from this one and come through a tunnel. I actually wouldn't be massively averse to that. And then we could possibly have some elevated train system through the suburb. I think if we are, it has to be embanked, doesn't it? We can't have it elevated. It's going to look way too modern. Or, on a more sensible footing, we could probably use this as an excuse to start an underground metro loop uh, around Swark and its subsequent island, linking up with the convergence that's going on here. Well, the people on the ferries now. Yes, please. <laughs> that's so good. Yeah, see, this is what we want. This, the, when we don't put public transport everywhere, you know, this is what will happen with the traffic AI in vanilla. So, I think that's going to be a good shout, isn't it? Let's have a look at possible metro options then. Yeah, we'll see if we can find a hub that does include metro. Uh, there's going to be quite a lot that include underground, isn't there? The tram metro hub would be a good shout here, but I kind of want to save that for downtown, really. And the multi-level metro hub's way too big for here, I think. I actually think the old school Sunset Harbour Metro Intercity Bus Hub is actually the best choice here, you know. I think for accepting buses into the mall, which I'm absolutely on board with. It's also kind of got that big, chunky, concrete shell vibe to it, which is only helping add to my mall. And, you know, you would expect on the size of a large mall like that to have sort of a big a bus terminus. I don't think it's totally out of the question, is it? But again, orientation is key, so we'll definitely run with this one. So let's go ahead and... Oh, see, we could throw it there, couldn't we? And then have it, like, back onto the mall. So, like, you kind of walk out the back of the plaza directly into the mall if we get that lined up right. I don't think I can refuse that. Put this road there. That's going to be fine for me. If you can connect into the mall, that would be one more entrance. And then this can be removed. And that should be okay for us, I think. And you sort of emerge out of the bus station into uh, Ocean City Mall, which is going to be... Super cool, once we get people flowing around here. That's going to be great. So now let's have a look at the underground metro system. So actually, turning it on the orientation kind of breaks the point of a loop, but we can still make it work, I, I suppose. So I think some of the plazas and promenade stations are going to be good for uh, squeezing into tight spaces here. Uh, so let's use the parallel underground one. Because this has two platforms on it, so we can actually split... A metro line into the downtown once they arrive here from that one. I also think a little metro stop in our sports village from last episode would be welcome. It's a walkable distance. It's also served by trams as well, so we certainly don't need one before that. I imagine it probably won't go down that island, and then from there it can loop back into uh, the suburb over here. Probably stopping one more time at a, at a location to be determined, because the suburb hasn't really been built yet. And then it can arrive back at the bus terminal. So we get that flowing and just see how many people use it. And also, uh, hopefully, expect some intercity buses here as well. So we've also added another station in here as well by Swark. And then we'll flow it in there. So then this metro line at some point will veer off into downtown once downtown exists. And then in the meanwhile, this metro line will carry on giving the Swank Suburb its metro loop. And everyone should have a pretty nice time here now. Of course, this can always be amended. We'll come back here probably much later down the line. I imagine once we get all the tiles available and really widen out this metro line, add another stop in here somewhere. I think it will time-lapse some Suburbia Road frame today. And uh, it might go for a little bit of the modern mid-century housing in this suburb, like we did over on the hillside. And make this sort of a nicer, sort of quieter sleepy suburban part of town where people come to sort of retire and chill out enjoy the white picket fence life etc cool but it's a nice little sort of wide medium dent uh, well low density build isn't it we're quite we're pretty low down here i love that <laughs> how good is that that is so good in vanilla also dropped in the multi-story here as well with a pathway next door so they can 
and squeeze through on their parking. Get direct access into the mall itself, of course. But absolutely wonderful, everyone. <laughs> really wonderful. It's uh, a fun little mall space, isn't it? I'm really happy with it. So whilst Vanilla City Skylines carries on being vanilla, <laughs> all the buses want to go metamorphosis in order to get into the station, uh, which is actually getting some people waiting now. We'll have a look at the lines. Uh, so added in the metro loop now, running both directions around all the areas. Then looking at the buses, we have a mirrored route, which is the green and white lines, which are serving the suburb of Swank. Just picking all these people up here and then bringing them back to a major hub. And then there's also the red line, which is coming around the river. Uh, converging with the metro and then also coming onto the tram road uh, and actually stopping here outside the tram and converging with all this stuff over here which of course goes across the rest of Orchid Bay and then it comes down to Main Street up and down and then loops back into the bus hub so it's very exciting and our water tower has also lost power as well okay <laughs> so hopefully that should give us some much needed relief on the road network from all these cars coming in uh, we just really need to wait for the buses to stagger and while they do stagger it does kind of feel like a good point for a major time lapse. I really just want to add some trees and props and um, maybe a key to this river walk as well. I'm not entirely sure. I think I kind of want to leave it more natural but I guess if it's like a landscaped mall it probably would have a key on it. Maybe I don't know we'll, we'll see what the comments say about that. And then also to time lapse some suburban road frame that we can zone in um, whenever we get uh, some residential demand. Uh, so we can carry on getting it up towards that population, which we probably will hit today, or at least in this space anyway. Uh, and we clearly need a police station uh, around here too. I'll tell you what, police station probably would be nice. Have a look at the content creator. We could try use the Africa one. I, I really don't know where I'm going to use these Africa assets. They're, they're, they're super hard to use. <laughs> But I guess maybe, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Well, well either way, we need some sort of police presence. Um, I think maybe the Korean one actually might be quite nice because we can probably slide it into one of these small little spaces here and have it kind of sat within the mall itself. So there's like, you know, on-site policing for the mall. I think that kind of works out, doesn't it? But either way, we might find a more permanent home for it. But we'll detail it up, get the whole area kind of sitting a little more natural, lots of trees, detailing and keys and everything else that we like. Also a couple of bridges back and to across the river as well. And yeah, hopefully uh, keep an eye on the bus numbers as well. We don't want these getting too busy. Make it all walkable and lovely. So let's do some detailing and then we'll be right back.
Okay everyone, so let's have a little detailing review, shall we? So this place has turned out just amazingly. The difference that vanilla car parks have made is just, well, cannot be overstated. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, so anyway, let's have a look what's happened. So our Mall of Moderation now serves as our entrance into the mall itself. Uh, with big car park spaces filling either side of it and also the use of a multi-story in there as well. On the edge of the car park in King Leno's assets have turned out absolutely wonderfully here. Um, what a difference it makes, right, to have some realistic looking, essentially workshop standard commercial. Yes, please. <laughs> it's so good. So much better little cafes and props out here. Just no pink octopus. <laughs> makes a big difference. And then here we go. A wonderful view over to our medium density skyline that we've been uh, crafting and constructing over the last five episodes or so. Absolutely wonderful. A little bit of park symmetry here as we cross over the river back to uh, Swank uh, with some pagolas and benches and a couple of bins and various props around to help fill the space and then a really nice centralization which will probably be your thumbnail today I imagine. Uh, <laughs> that's just great especially with other people walking and as the suburb grows behind it this is only going to get busier as well. So we can all look forward to yet another amazing spot of Orchid Bay walking porn eventually. And it's just, it's just great, right? Look at the, the whole sort of sense and scale of facility. A nice little sort of tree garden all around uh, the sort of case of the mall, really. Because we don't have any, like, concrete shell for it. But it's kind of got, like, a green belt shell, if you like. That just sort of wraps around it. And uh, super walkable as we come down onto the other side of it here uh, to have a look at some of the buses where we've got them coming in and out now with the four-lane bus road at an angle. Uh, so they can sort of just zoom off here and make use of the open concrete rather than doing like a weird snap turnaround. It's a little more of a nicer entrance for them. Again, all hooked in with walking pathways and then kind of noticed that the buses were clogging up the roundabout here because there's quite a few of them. So I thought we'd make use of a bus only highway road just as a little quick access point for them back to the collector system back into Swank. Uh, so that, we're making really nice use of that now as well. Uh, Metro is getting a ton of usage. You can see all the purple tourists spilling out of it. At 265 in a week and it's just constantly busy and uh, what a difference it's made right having that public transport it's really helped to clear up the roads so we were having quite a big backlog here of people coming through and i think we will actually end up removing that connection there because the traffic can then just flow a little easier and it does clear it so it's nice to see it happening uh, we did uh, set up a little bit of mid-century modern here and um, but i haven't done too much with it just a touch to satisfy a uh, touch of residential demand but i really want to sort of save this for a separate sort of new town area center build if you like you know we've got some new things to set up out here so this will eventually grow out over the next few episodes and then on that here we will frame now we've got this fencing and cottonwood pattern to help give a little bit of a border to the mall and just look at this for a little sort of look across the facility oh uh, yeah we haven't checked out the cargo points either this is great <laughs> this is like look at this view to the mall like for vanilla city skylines everyone yes please one of my favourite ever builds is uh, the Luna Mola. Absolutely crazy. <laughs> so good. Uh, yes, I'll look at this, right? Cargo service point here, back in onto the service point area of Leno's Malls with the recycling centre and the bus depot dropped in here. Uh, leading to lots of open, walkable, sort of concrete service space and there's people manoeuvring about all different areas here, coming down the stairs and sort of all these little alleyways and it looks so cool in vanilla you know you just we're not used to seeing this the game's come such a long way <laughs> uh, people walking through the wall there as well fantastically enough and yeah just all the malls active it's a really vibrant kind of commercial space as you walk through here with uh, quick access to the parking also dropped in some uh, bollards as well from plazas and promenades against the car parks which turned out really cutely a uh, nice little bit of detail in that against the car park to help separate it uh, yeah, and just, you can see past all these signs, there's a really great shop over here too. I uh, if we can find it, there we go, yeah, under our arm. <laughs> it's just great. That really gave me a chuckle. And yeah, it's just, 
Great build, isn't it? Really happy with it. This big plaza here was well known from plazas and promenade sets here. Oh, and this nice big uh, commercial corner uh, with lots of King Leno spiciness going on. Yes, anyway, tremendously happy with it, everyone. Well, otherwise, guys, that is going to do it for today. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, likes, comments, and shares below really help me out. As much if you haven't enjoyed it, then please feel free to leave me a dislike as well. Super happy with this. Like I said, possibly one of my favourite ever builds, especially vanilla builds. Uh, just really fun to have this much car parking easily available in vanilla. It really changes our scope and what sort of spaces we can fill and some nice creative use of mall themed commercial assets to create this real sort of commercial centric uh, space along the riverfront opposite the Swank Town. Uh, and we've got more town to add over here in Lunar Fields. Thanks again for all the support on this series, it really means a lot. I'm glad you're all enjoying it so much. I'm just so many comments to read, <laughs> so thank you. And uh, just for the growth on the channel as well, it's, it's growing like nuts. We're coming up to 70,000 subscribers soon, <laughs> which is absolutely nuts. Like, feels like two weeks ago I was thanking you all for 100 subscribers in Begusia. So thank you for the support and welcome to everyone that's new. Uh, check out the description for some uh, handy links if you're interested. Please enjoy your cinematics, but otherwise I will shut up and leave it there. Let's thank you all so much for watching, and as always, enjoy the rest of your day.